Can you talk a little bit about like contract transparency and some of the issues with contracts? I don't know if a lot of people fully grasp what goes into a data contract and some mm -hmm. of the restrictions and issues that you can kind of run into. One of the shockers, right? We call this like almost like an innovation killer, which is that let's say you're starting a startup and uh, you're building the next, I don't know, Robin Hood or something. <laughs> and so you need real-time data to like feed to your phone by API. And uh, let's say you need like real-time NASDAQ data. So suddenly, um, you know, you'll go to like, I don't know whether you go to us or any other data provider, right? They, we will all tell you, hey, you're going to need a license with NASDAQ to get that, regardless of which data provider you choose. And they're like, oh, it's $20,000 a month. You know, the whole mag order of magnitude of the license is like way, you know, that makes us seem really cheap, uh, like peanuts in comparison, right? To like whatever, like the, the vendor, it's not that high, but like, um, you know, it, it's going to be like, it could be a couple thousand dollars a month, depending on what your use case is um, and how you're using that data, whether it's for display, like on a phone, whether it's for non-display and shockingly enough, everyone gets it wrong. Um, so that's what I mean by like transparency and, you know, licensing is first off, people don't even realize that there's a license required. 